I've been fishing this spot quite a bit and it's been really good, but it's now the cats. What do they say? The cats out of the bag. Cats out of the basket. <laughs> say the cats out of the basket. <laughs> the cats out of the bag. Okay, the cats out of the bag. So that spot's dead to me. Um, hey everybody, today we're going Chinook fishing on the Vetter River. I got a day off here, or a planned day off for me to fish on my own. And um, yeah, we're gonna try some beads. We're gonna try maybe a bit of bait, maybe a bit of blades. Try some different stuff. Give you a good kind of rundown on how to go about catching some Chinooks on and pretty much any river. So uh, yeah, we'll see you out there. Well, we're at our spot and... It's Jimmy Jacked. <laughs> The one thing about having spots on this river is like someone sees you catch fish, then they tell their buddy, then 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 their buddy and then you got to go find a new spot. So we're going to go have a look at my spot and uh, if I can weasel in and get a cast, I'm sure I'll be able to pull some fish out of there, but good possibility that the bottom bouncers have found their way in here. And what that means is people go in and they, they know there's fish there and they go cast in and go pew, pew. and once that starts fish won't bite so do yourself a favor if you see that rippy rip action going on in a spot leave just leave go find a different place because fish do not respond well to that ripping business it scares them so we're gonna go have a look but uh I'm probably gonna have to go exploring for a new spot today so anyhow we'll see you in a bit we have a brand new pair of Why are these wading boots uh-oh who did this do we need to relace them uh oh. Oh no, those are clips, your favorite. Oh yeah, my favorite. Clippies. Glass boots. Blew this would have been tough. These are I Cabela's these brand? God, I hope these fit. What? I don't know, they seem so small to me, but. Okay, you're making me nervous. They're oh. size 9 men's. Yeah. No, hold on. I've got a big wrinkle yeah, in Yeah, like there. step up and down a bit. you got to kind of work it in. Yeah. <laughs> nah. Okay, let's get this other one in first, and then I'll kind of wiggle them both around. They seem pretty decent. These are nice boots. These are Cabela's. What is, what's happening here? <laughs> I'm a child. Apparently. <laughs> okay, That's go for happened. a walk. <laughs> What I do is I go like this, I hold the heel down and I pull them up and down a bit. Just kind of get the neoprene to spread evenly. New boots for mama. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so when you're doing up your wife's boots, you have to pin the foot down. So ridiculous. We did a, um, hey, 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 the what? tongue is getting all folded. That's going to be terribly Ouch. uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> We had to go do an emergency. You have a fold. Drive to. When you wiggle, wiggle, you fold. We had to do an emergency drive to Cabela's last night to to get um what is that? get boots. We tried to go to Fred's, but they were closed because it was you know eight o'clock at night. So they look yeah. really good, sharp. I like the blue accents. <laughs> I do. That's the first thing I know about them. They're usually always brown. These ones got some blue in them. It's good. Mix it up a bit. Good for Cabela's. Real okay, fashionista. That foot, that foot's getting Seriously, the shape of these shoes and the waders and everything is so incredibly unattractive. What do you mean? You're the best looking a and root beer they've ever had. <laughs> Comfy as hell. I love neoprene. Okay, that's tight, man. It, when it gets wet in there. Okay. Do 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 do. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> Ooh, big one. Oh boy. 
drop and just snap one off. So what's happening here is these fish are biting super light. Like your float barely wiggles. We're using bait and they're not really responding well to beads in here. So we're this spot in particular, we're using bait. And the bite is like, I mean, it, your float doesn't go down at all. It either wiggles, lifts, or sometimes it like lays flat, but it, it never goes down. They're, they're, it's not the way these fish bite. They come up to chew on your bait, and if you don't set the hook, you just get an empty bait back. So I'm, for that reason, I'm using 12 pound leader, and of course I just had a 30 pounder on and snapped it off. So this is what happens when you use 12 pound leader. Unfortunately, they won't bite. We tried the 15, half as many bites with 15 pounds. So we switched to 12, and unfortunately you just gotta like ride it out. That particular fish ran me down the tail out. Once they go down there, you're pretty much, there's a lot of people out here today, and I would have had to run it by everybody, so I just kind of put the brakes on it, and that's what happens, just snap them off, unfortunately. So maybe we'll get lucky in the next one. I don't know how you can see that. Oh wow, I can see it actually. There's other ones in there. So weird. Mm. Let's go to 15 pound male. Let him go. Nice. Fish have just woken up. Hey. Okay. It happens around here, yeah. Yeah. Another guy just. He snagged it. Oh. Oh, he didn't try to. Oh, okay. I have a little secret trick I'm doing. We've been getting them reeling in. So they're reeling super slow. For whatever reason, that chasing thing is just triggering their brain. Ooh, this one I got just slowly reeling in. Boom! Just gotta ride it out with these big fish.
Excuse me, I'm gonna land my fish right there. I'm probably gonna leave now, so hopefully it's a doe. No, no, I'm good. Thank you, though. Fine. Come on, come back up. Come back up. Yeah, killed one yesterday. Getting one every other day. There's no way to tell. I don't care what anyone says. I pulled those gel plates back and look. That shit don't work. Well, the reds here are coming. That's right. So they, the people that say they can tell, I'm like, you can't tell. Yeah. You just gotta get lucky, right? Right. I think that's weird. I don't know what's going on with those things. Because in the Harrison, there's no marble. Well, <laughs> he's having none of that. No, I'm going to let this one go. I don't need any more big bucks. I got so much meat. I'm a sturgeon guy and I got too much meat. The freezer's going to be full of things. Yeah, well, I did get on the reds. And do you want me to help him any nope. It's a big fish, so it's hard to turn it. Almost ready to come up on me. Jesus. Come on, one more try. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's rough. You must be catching some pretty nice fish. So yeah, so we were out today, it's a Friday. It's so busy, don't know why it's like everybody got Friday off. Maybe the king died, I don't know what happened, but you would honestly think it's a holiday today. There's that many people out, so I'm not sure what's going on with that. But, uh, so on a day like today, we went to a pool that I've been getting fish at and there's a lot of people there, so that pool is now, for me, a write-off. We're gonna go fish some secondary water and if we catch, we catch. I think I'll find something down there because fish kinda gotta go everywhere, so they gotta move. So yeah, off we go and uh, operation, no people happening. <laughs> I good luck. <laughs> found uh, a couple of bites down there in our crappy water and then we found a pool with a whole bunch of people who were harping on Chinooks in any means possible but there's a black mass of Chinooks in there but I left them without even casting so let's go we're gonna go find another spot that's... but look around here in this forest it's very it's beautiful. beautiful do you have another spot in mind yeah it's right up here by where we're parked okay there yeah was, it's so there, pretty where those guys were leaving when we were up there so pretty. All right. Keep on keeping on. More creepy birds. Okay, so where are we going? What are we doing? Are we I don't know, but we were just walking through the parking lot and there was a dude there and we, we heard him say something about the denial pool and then 
a stuff of legend. I've never heard of the denial pool, but it's one of two things. Either you go there, you catch fish, and then the people watch you catch fish, ask you, did you catch any? You say, no, I haven't caught any. And they're like, I just watch you catch like 10 fish. And you're like, nope, no, no, it's not true. I've never caught anything. Or the fish are loaded in there, will not bite, and you're getting denied. The denial pool. So it's one of two. So let's see. Let's I, go I think find we're, the no, denial. we're going to skip the fing denial pool either way. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> the denial pool. Right, so we're in a totally different zone now. Same river, different zone. Well. Fish in buckets. Oops. Now we're in a tiny little bucket. What do you want me to catch, on a Chinook or a coho? Are you catching coho? There's the odd one in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go find myself a spot to just chill out while you figure out the denial pool. Yeah, you might as well. I'll probably hook one right away, but that's okay. I'll just go sit down. It's one of them things that if you... So, in the denial pool, does that... I think now what that means is that you're in denial. I'm not in denial. I know I can't catch a fish right now. <laughs> okay, fish on and I'm way down here. So here we go. Is that a coho? I think it's a jack chinook. Whoops. Oh, oh, I'm struggling. Little chromy jack. Oh, 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 oh. Settle down. What a big it. fin on the top, hey? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is not the denial pool. Hey, everybody. So, uh, we're just wrapping up a video we made the other day. I'm out here right now doing a guided trip. I had a morning trip, which was awesome. We did, got a bunch of fish, Chinooks. And I got an afternoon trip, who should be showing up here in a minute. But uh, back to that day, the river was jammed. So we snuck into one run, there was a lot of guys, got a couple nice ones out of there, then drove around looking for spots, then we really found just mostly people. And then I did a quick sneak into my one of my little tiny little pockets of water and got a nice little jack chinook out of there but um, yeah fishing now is really actually right now fishing's hot on the bees it was really it was a row show back then now it's all beads now so yeah so anyhow i uh, hope you enjoy the show tight lines and bent rods oh one more thing don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends hey there <laughs>